scraping ice off the windscreen should be a thing of the past. You can sit inside eating your toast with it nice and toasty inside the cabin just by using preheating and that's something that most EVs come with and I'm going to tell you how to do it. So I'm going to set up the climate control timer. I'm going to do this in the Hyundai Ionic 5 but the concept is pretty much the same for any other EV that supports it. So first of all I'm going to go to the EV page. You can see down here we've got something that says next departure and it says on here set departure time before using scheduled charging or climate. So I'm going to press on that and it says departure time has not been set. So I'm going to set that now. Now most of the time we, when we go to school in the morning um, we go at about 8, 10. So I'm going to set that and I'm going to click the days that we go to school. And press OK. So that's the first departure time now set. So now we've got that set we can set up scheduled climate control. So it says target temperature has not been set. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to say yes 24 degrees and crucially I want to press that. That means it's going to actually defrost the windscreen. It's as easy as that and now all we have to do is plug in the car. And you don't need an expensive car like this to be able to do it because there are a lot of EVs, even old cheap ones, that also do it, including my Nissan Leaf. All you have to do is go to Climate Control Timer, Edit Schedule, and then you can turn on and then set your departure time and the days and then press Save. The nice thing about the Leaf is that it also shows you if the timer is set with this little light here. And some other EVs do this as well. So what you really want to do is be able to set the climate control when you're not in the car because that's the ultimate inconvenience isn't it so all you have to do is go to the app in this case i've got one called blue link for the ionic 5 and on this one all you have to do is press start climate control and then that will defrost your car or it will set the air conditioning if it's a hot day Uh, what I'm going to do is go to remote to show you how to set a timer. So you can go to scheduled charging and climate control, this one here. And then it says retrieving charging schedule. This sometimes takes a little while. And it all depends how good the mobile signal is where your car is, but that says it's got it. Here you can see it's already set up. So I've got my departure time set and it says scheduled for charging and scheduled climate control. So for climate control, for instance, I've got it set to 24 degrees. Defrost on, which means the windscreen is defrosted 30 minutes before departure time. And defrost off, so that means it's not activated at all. So I'm just going to go back and I'm going to click on defrost and heating here. And you'll see that defrost and heating, the settings are that we've got defrost on and it'll also sort out your side mirrors and the rear window heating. And it will also heat your steering wheel as well, which is a nice touch. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please press subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of other videos.